Hi, it's Kayla, and today I want to talk about audio description. So let's start with what is audio description? Audio description is something specifically for the blind or visually impaired for TV shows and movies. That's an extra layer of audio that narrates visual things going on that are key to the story. So it will describe anything from visually what the scenery looks like or what characters are on screen or scene changes or action or what people are doing or facial expressions, body language. It reads subtitles um, or any other kind of like signs or if characters are texting. So pretty much describes anything visual that's important. And the description is in natural pauses in the dialogue, so it doesn't talk over characters speaking, and it doesn't, like, pause the show to describe things, so it's not any longer. It's just in the natural pauses. So I'm going to show you a few really short clips just to give you an example of what audio description is, and then I'm going to talk about my thoughts on it. Later, in her room, Hannah texts with Justin. He texts, hey. She replies, oh, hey. A gray hatchback drives down a road abutted by forest. It turns, passing a sign that reads, Federal Correctional Institution, Litchfield, New York. In the passenger seat, Piper stares with dread as they approach the bleak prison grounds. She reaches a hand out to her dark-haired fiance. He clasps it. Antifreeze and fish. <laughs> A female passenger observes Sam with furrowed brows. I was just thinking about Antarctic cod. She gives a tight smile and looks away quickly. Okay, so hopefully now you kind of get the gist of what audio description is. I think audio description is great. I really love it. It's so nice to be able to watch a show or a movie and know what's going on and not be confused. Because before I started watching things with audio description, I would just be lost a lot. Some things are easier to follow than others, like sitcoms are pretty easy to follow because it's mainly just dialogue, but if I wanted to watch like a drama or something more suspenseful, a lot of times I would be like, wait, who is that? Wait, who just walked in and saw them kissing? Wait, what did they just find? Wait, what are they doing? Why is why is that dramatic music playing? Oh, what's, what's that a picture of? Oh, what's going on? And just constantly would be confused. And if I was watching by myself, I would just be completely lost. And if I was watching with other people, I'd be really annoying asking those questions all the time. So audio description is great to be able to just watch something and know what's going on. I only recently started watching things with audio description, probably within the past year or so, because I wanted to watch a show called Switched at Birth, which, by the way, I would highly recommend. And the main character and a lot of the other characters in the show are deaf. So there's a lot of sign language, which means a lot of subtitles. And I can't read subtitles. So I was never able to watch the show because since I couldn't read the subtitles, I just really couldn't keep up with the show. So I decided to watch it with audio description so it would read the subtitles to me. And then I was like, oh, this is great, because I saw how much of the rest of the show it described. And then I started watching everything with audio description. I started watching Orange is the New Black, which also would highly recommend. Um, but there's some mature content in that show, so don't say I didn't warn you. But anyways, I tried to watch that show a couple of years ago, and I just couldn't follow it. There was so much going on and so many characters, so I couldn't watch it then. But with audio description, I was able to watch it, and I'm really glad because it's one of my favorite shows. And so I'm just really glad that that exists, so I'm able to watch these shows. But not everything has audio description. There's a lot of shows that still don't have it, and a lot of things I wish I could watch, but I just can't follow them. And I think sometimes sighted people have a hard time understanding that because a lot of times people will be like, oh, have you watched this show? And I'm like, well, I tried to, but I, I just couldn't keep up with it. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's so good. I can't believe you, you don't watch it. I'm like, well, 
I want to watch it. I didn't say I didn't like it. I said I couldn't keep up with it. And I think sighted people maybe don't realize exactly how visual some shows can be. So next time you're watching something, just close your eyes for a little bit and just see what it's like. Okay, so let's move on to where can you find audio described shows and movies. Number one, Netflix. All Netflix original shows and movies have audio description. And they also have a lot of things that aren't their originals, but that still have audio description on there. And they even have a whole audio described section. So if you look through the categories where it's like dramas, comedies, blah, 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 at the very bottom is audio description. So you don't have to hunt for them. They're right there in their own little section. Another good place is iTunes. They have a lot of movies with audio description. So I've been renting movies on my Apple TV and watching them that way. Um, mostly Disney movies. All Disney movies from the year 2009 onward have audio description and that includes Pixar and Marvel, Star Wars, all of that. I mean, I don't watch those, but they have that. And Disney has also gone back and added audio description to some of their older titles as well. And y'all know how much I love Disney movies, so I think this is awesome. I wish they would go describe some more of their older movies. That would be great. Those are the main ones. So thank you, Netflix, Disney, and of course, Apple for making your content so accessible. And do you know where you can't find audio description? Hulu. Hulu does not have anything audio described at all. They've had a lawsuit against them about it, but I guess they just don't care because they still haven't added any audio description. So boo Hulu. Oh yeah, I guess I should also mention that they have at movie theaters audio description devices, but not every theater has them and not every movie supports them. And I've also heard that they're kind of not very reliable. They don't work all the time. I've only used it once in the theater and I didn't really like it because I just had in one earbud so I was listening to the description in one ear and then I was trying to hear the movie from my other ear and I just didn't prefer to watch it that way. I'd much rather wait for the movie to come out so I can watch it at home and have the audio description and the regular audio playing out of the same speakers. So if you want to know how to turn on audio description on Netflix or like on a Blu-ray, it's usually in like the subtitles or languages, either one of those options, and then it will say audio description. So that's how you can find that. There are also some shows that air on TV that have audio description. However, I don't really know exactly how that works or how to turn it on because I don't have like cable. I just have Netflix and back when I had regular TV, I didn't watch things with audio description. So I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm sure you can just Google it and see a list of shows that have audio description and how to turn it on. Sorry, I'm not more help with that. But anyways, I think that's all I have to say on this topic. Um, if you are blind or visually impaired and you haven't tried audio description, I highly recommend just giving it a try. Um, if you think it's going to be annoying, it's really not. I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to listen to it, like talk the whole time. It's going to get on my nerves. It really doesn't bother me. I promise. And if you think, you know, that you're not really blind enough to need that, I still strongly recommend just trying it just once to see. Um, and if you do use audio description, let me know your thoughts on it. And also give me your recommendations for your favorite audio described show. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.